Hey, Kurt Packey coming to you from Tucson, Arizona with another iMovie tutorial. When I made my prior tutorial on how to set iMovie project resolution, I didn't think it was necessary at the time to talk about uh, frame rate, frames per second, uh, 30 frames per second, 24 frames per second, etc. Uh, but as it turns out, when I dug into it a little bit, uh, the support was much better than I expected. Uh, but it's not really documented at all, and it's not very uh, transparent. It's really kind of opaque as to how you go about doing this and how to tell what the project uh, frame rate is. So I made this video um, because I know a, a fair number of people like to use 24 frames per second in order to get a more cinematic look to their videos. So without further ado, uh, here's how to use iMovie to make a 24, 25, uh, or 60 frames per second uh, video using iMovie native project resolution. Let's begin by looking at how we actually get some of these oddball frame rates. There's a certain number of them that are available in the native camera app, and these are accessed through the camera settings. And uh, if we go into the camera settings, we can see that there's a record video selection, which I currently have set to 30 frames per second, because that's what I normally use. Uh, if we go in there, we can see that there's a couple options that we can select 60 frames per second if we want to do some somewhat slow motion, slow down, or if we want to actually produce a native 60 frames per second video, and we'll look at that a little bit later. But the one of note here is the 4K at 24 frames per second, which iMovie labels as, quote, film style, unquote. And uh, that's one that uh, many people who are trying to achieve a cinematic uh, look to their videos attempt to use. So in addition to the, to the regular camera settings, uh, there's also the slow-mo settings that you can set to either 240 or 120 frames per second. And uh, iMovie can handle all of these various permutations. For the purposes of today's video, I used uh, Filmic Pro because it has a few more options. In addition to the normal 30, 60, and uh, occasional 24, uh, I can shoot at 24 in regular HD video resolution, 25 for PAL or CCAM for European compatibility, uh, 48 if I want a uh, somewhat slow motion video uh, effect on a 24 frames per second product, 50 frames per second if I want to do the same for a PAL or CCAM 24, 25 frames per second project, and the normal 60 uh, 120 and 240 I can do as a regular recording as opposed to a special slow-mo format that the uh, native camera app uses. So I used uh, Filmic Pro for what we're going to be looking at later on here in the video. So what we have here is a blank project. There's nothing in the timeline. And I've taken the liberty of saving a little time in this video and I have pre-imported uh, all of my video clips. Uh, this particular one right here, which if you press the little I button, it gives us the name of the file. Uh, in this case, it's coming from Filmic Pro, so the file name is the date and the time it was recorded. So this one was recorded at 10.01.06. We can see from the Photos app where these were stored, uh, that this particular one was 24 frames per second. So this is what we're going to start with. Most people are interested in 24 frames per second in order to get that, quote, cinematic look, unquote. So let's go ahead and take this, uh, this video clip and we'll bring it into the timeline. And uh, if we go to the settings here, uh, the settings don't say anything about the frame rate. Um, the only time I've seen iMovie display the frame rate is if you, the first clip you import is a 60 frames per second. It will say 60 FPS here, but I have not seen it actually label any of the other frame rates. So what is the frame rate of this project? Um, we can find out uh, quickly by zooming in, that's command plus, 
We'll zoom in all the way, and you'll see why in a moment here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a range, and I'm going to drag it. Now, the numbers after the colons are not the tenths of a second or hundredths of a second or anything like that. They're the actual frame numbers, so I now have 23 frames. And then if I go one more frame, you can see the frame count goes from 23 to uh, one second. So indeed, my project frame rate is 24 frames per second. And uh, iMovie is pretty consistent with this, so it will actually tell you what the frame rate is if you go in and, uh, and you select a range and look at where the frame count rolls over from um, zero to the, from the next second uh, back down one, in this case, to 23. So the frame numbers go from zero to 23 because this is 24 frames per second. So here we have uh, a 24 frames per second uh, movie. We're not going to do anything special here. Let's just export it to a file because this is what most people are going to do. And uh, we'll just use the default quality and so on. And you'll notice uh, there was no option to select a frame rate. And now I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to name this with the frame rate. This so on is based on 24 frames per second. So we'll do a save. And now our little progress bar here shows uh, our activity as the export is uh, happening. So now let's bring up the finder. We're all done. So there's no way in the finder to determine the frames per second. The information that's displayed here will give you the resolution. This is an HD file, a color profile, a duration, and the audio, but it will not tell you the frames per second. What you have to do to determine frames per second is you double click on it, and that will bring up a QuickTime window. And from the QuickTime window, we want to show the movie inspector, which is a command I uh, as a shortcut. So here's our inspector. And indeed, uh, our frame rate, our encoded frames per second is 23.98, which is, in essence, 24 frames per second. So there you go. So iMovie is capable of creating a 24 frames per second timeline and exporting it at 24 frames per second. So we can make, quote, cinematic, uh, unquote, uh, videos with iMovie. Let's finish off our discussion of uh, the 24 frames per second timeline by looking at uh, mixing in a 48 frames per second uh, clip. It's not well known that iMovie can intermingle different frame rate clips as well as different resolutions and it will do the proper interpolation to bring things up. So here I have the second clip I'm going to add and this one is uh, labeled 10.02.240 which we can see from the photos display that this is indeed a 48 frames per second clip that I created with Filmic Pro. So let's go ahead and add this to the timeline and the normal thing people do this for is to play this back in slow motion for a dreamier smoother look on the uh, on b-roll so we'll go ahead and change this one to slow uh, 50 percent because that'll give us uh, a one-to-one -one ratio. So now we have our, uh, our main clip here and our secondary clip. Let's go ahead and do an export of this one to a file. And once again, there's no selection for uh, the frame rate. And we will call this one 2448 frames per second. So let's go ahead and save that. Okay, so our um, our export, our share to the uh, has completed. So 
Let's go ahead and open that up. And then we will look at the inspector. And yep, we've got a 23 frames per second video. And it's now quite a bit longer. So here's the beginning of the video. And now I'm shifting into slow motion, which is the 48 frames per second um, clip being played back uh, at half speed. All right, let's go ahead and cover the 60 frames per second case, which is actually the best supported and most transparent uh, frame rate other than the default of 30 frames per second. So here's my 60 frames per second clip. This one was actually made uh, with the native uh, camera app. We'll go ahead and uh, drop that one onto our timeline. And just for grins here, uh, let's go ahead and add a, uh, a 30 frames per second and the 200, I believe this is, yep, this is the 240 frames per second slow-mo, and we'll add the 120 frames per second slow-mo as well. So we'll have four different frame rates, um, all intermingled on the same timeline here, but because 60 frames per second was our first frame rate, uh, we should end up producing a 60 frames per second uh, video. So uh, you'll notice the, uh, the slow-mo clips uh, has a brief section at the beginning that is uh, uh, normal speed, and then it shifts into slow-mo, and then it shifts back into normal speed again. You can go ahead and change those within iMovie, uh, but that's the default. Uh, just to show that we have a 60 frames per second uh, project, let's look at it in settings, and lo and behold, uh, you can see this one is actually well documented and is perfectly transparent because it actually says 1080p 60, and so this indicates that it is an indeed 60 frames per second project. Uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and go through the export process. Uh, it works perfectly fine. This is uh, supported by Apple and the iMovie uh, software development team. Uh, so uh, we will just uh, skip right over the export process and uh, move on to our next frame rate, which is 25 frames per second. Okay, let's finish up with our uh, 25 frames per second case. Here's our 25 frames per second clip. It's called uh, 10201, and uh, let's load that into the timeline. Uh, just to reiterate one thing here, just as with resolution, the frames per second of a project is determined by the first clip that's loaded onto the timeline. So I have my 25 frames per second clip that's uh, loaded in. And um, now I'll add on my uh, 50 frames per second clip, which is 10.03.30. So let's go ahead and add that clip onto the timeline. And just for grins, let's uh, not change the rate on that one so that iMovie actually has to uh, pick out every other frame of this clip and intermingle it with the 25 frames per second clip. And let's do our same trick here. We will zoom in and we will select a range. And, um, and this range, we just need to back off to less than one second. So here we have one second of our 13 second clip selected. If we back off one, boom, we have uh, frame number 24. And since this is a 25 per frames per second uh, uh, project, they are numbered from zero to 24. We have all of our clips selected. Let's go ahead and do a share to a file. 
and we will output that to the same spot and we'll call this 2550 frames per second and we'll do our save and we'll bring up the finder and there's our file okay we're all done let's bring it up in quicktime and we'll look at the inspector and indeed there we have encoded frames per second 25 frames per second suitable for any country where you have 50 hertz uh, power and that's where the 25 frames per second uh, comes from for countries that have and that have ccam and pal uh, those are all the same countries that use um, 50 hertz uh, mains power so uh, we are good to go. Thanks a lot for watching. If, uh, if this video was helpful to you, please click like or subscribe below. Thanks again.